All right, guys, we're going to put our custom homemade somewhat nut buster here to the test. Try moving it here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and finish breaking the packing nut on loose. So she's still pretty tight. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work it, work it a little bit more with this. Alright guys, so one reason why I'm using a pop wrench and not the actual spanner wrench there is these T's right here, I put a lot of pressure on them with just that one hook. They tend to break out, chip, break off, and then they're, they're really they're no, they're no good after that. So I'm taking a pop wrench here and just going around the outside nut. And once they get this apart, you'll be able to see everything in here, the snap ring, the lock ring, we'll get it all out. You'll kind of be able to see how this cylinder will come apart. John Deere cylinders are really, John Deere is the ones I've mainly seen like this. I've seen a few on a Massey Ferguson tractor. Really, really bad about getting rusted up in there. And this one's probably going to be a little bit of a, of a pain to get out. They get rusted up in there, the nuts get rusted, that's why it's so hard to break loose, that's why we had to take the, the nut buster there and actually break the gland nut loose. There's actually a spring back in here that you've got to pull out. So we're going to have to drive this gland here back, pull the lock, kind of like a snap ring, just a round snap ring, pull it out, then all this whole assembly will come out, then we'll be able to flip it over take the impact gun, break the uh, piston nut loose, and completely disassemble it and start cleaning it.
I'm gonna bring the camera back over here and you'll kind of get to see you'll get the flashlight you'll be able to see all the rust and all the build up in here So as you can kind of see, there you go, all the rust, all the buildup kind of right through there. That's really about the worst that I, you know, probably one of the worst ones that I've seen. I had one here a couple of months ago off of a Massey Ferguson. It was a little small one and it had a bunch of cow manure caked up in there. That's what they used to use the loader there for. Let's move cow manure around. So. Like I said, we're gonna pull this snap ring right here out. I don't know if you guys could see it on the video there, but we're gonna pull that snap ring right there out. We gotta knock it loose, pull it out, and then everything should come out the front side of it. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. I always try to find the uh, inside groove on the snap ring. this one Take a lady slipper. Sometimes on the smaller ones you can't really get, get one of these in there. This one's rusted really bad. So I'm gonna have to, we'll have to replace this snap ring right here. It won't be no big deal. I keep most of them here on site. They're here in the shop over there in my seal. My seal collection there. So let's try to dry this one on back a little bit. cylinder mounted on this bench so it'll do all this for me. Kind of like my nut buster there. Make my life a whole, whole lot easier. There we go. That's the snap ring. I'll show you guys the groove here a little bit later on after we get everything cleaned up. Um, there's a groove in here that it actually sets in. That's kind of what you you have to drive it back and pop it out and You just kind of, kind of work your cylinder back and forth like I said if I had the push-pull cylinder on there it would Pull it on out Rip it out of there There she be. We'll, we'll put this in the uh, press over there, take the nut loose, give you guys a uh, look at the inside of the gland because I'm sure it's pretty bad. Right, guys, okay, so we got the uh, rod here set up in the press and we're going to take the nut loose 
like I said, I'll show you what the inside of the land looks like. I'm, like I said, I'm sure it's pretty rough. Let me get the impact and we'll jerk her off there and see what, see what she does. Oh guys, yeah, so that nut is a uh, inch five eighths. Oh. So you will see the inside of that. I mean, all the seals, the wipe, the seals, it's all gone. So we're going to get all this cleaned up and get everything tidied up on it. Get the seals ordered for it and have a video for it being reassembled. Thank you for watching.